Okay, I, I just got I just got the revelation. I, I just got the revelation why Yah was showing this to me. Genesis 4-7. Um, it's a warning and it perfectly fits Bible prophecy. What happened to Cain? What happened to Cain after he killed Abel? He was stricken and afflicted. I'm just going to walk away from people. He was stricken and afflicted. Okay? Um, there's a lot of... We, that's another study, which I haven't done. But what are the wicked appointed to do? They're, they're appointed um, just as that text, the dance of the Savior, when we have Yeshua dancing and singing with his disciples before he was crucified, the extra biblical text, he reveals things that most people don't understand, that the serpent has to go on the cross in the last days. To bring them the repentance, as the book of Hosea tells us about. That's the mark of Cain, being clothed with death because they murdered their brother. And the murder of Abel, the murder of Abel and the birth of Seth is a reflection of Messiah. Um, right? Because Messiah was killed by Satan on the cross, that's Abel, and resurrected as Seth. And that's why Yah, I think, was showing me Genesis 4-7 because it's a warning to the wicked who, to those who, well, actually, what I believe are Yahuwah's people that we read of in Jeremiah, but, you know, our governments who have gone to false gods to get more information to, to purpose God's kingdom, they are still loved. But they are trying to wipe out God's footprints. You know, your FBI and everything. Give me a break, man. Okay, when it comes to God, you think you have any rights? You think there's a constitution? You think they don't just go in your home and do whatever they want to their compu to your computers illegally? I know they do. Them. My, I just give it to God. I don't care. So you think anything they bring forth is trustworthy? Nothing they do is trustworthy. Nothing they do is credible or trustworthy. They are deceivers. Nothing they bring to the table trying to wipe away God's footprints. It's all a lie. They can manipulate any kind of evidence, go into your home without you knowing, put whatever kitty porn on your computer, do whatever tax crap they want to do to you. They love just throw you in court and feed off the trauma and stress and anxiety. That's what they do. Um, so, you know, and it's prophesied. We see this in the Lost Psalms of David. Those who try to wipe away God's footprints will be like the mire in the streets to bring them the repentance. It's the mark of Cain. They're going to receive the mark of Cain. And they're going to get the fruit of their own ways. They'll have to wander among the ruthless nations. Just like their goal is to make us homeless. It's the way of the serpent. So that's why I think Yah was showing me this stuff. Genesis 4 7. Genesis 4 7. Don't receive the mark of Cain. Do the commandments of Yah. That, that is the end all and be all. It's to serve God. As the end of Ecclesiastes says. Alright. Yah bless you.